UFC 131, Brock's out, so who's winning? Junior Dos Santos or Shane 2.0? This is Ivy Sports, I'm BJ Griffin. Now before we get into Junior Dos Santos versus Shane Carwin, I wanna talk about the tough finale uh, two days ago. I know you all were, were there to, to see that or you all saw that on, on Spike TV. Clay Guida versus Anthony Pettis. Now I really like that Anthony Pettis is, is in the UFC now because he's just an exciting fighter. I, even though he lost to Clay Guida, I, I enjoy seeing him fight, and he's just real flashy. He does a lot of things that the other guys aren't aren't doing right now. But Clay Guida, I mean, he he did. I, I know a lot of people were knocking the game plan where he used his wrestling and did a lot of takedowns and did a little bit of did a little bit of laying on on Anthony Pettis. All Anthony Pettis was trying for for his for his submissions. And Clay Guida really just kind of grinded out the the decision and people that's that hasn't been a very popular thing for you know with a lot of people and you know the the gsp style of, of fighting was just just takedowns and uh laying on a little bit of ground and pounding and, and that's it but i really don't personally i don't have a problem with the game plan that clay guida implemented and i really don't have a problem with 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 GSP's game plan now, now is that the stuff that I want to see? <laughs> no, it's, it's not the stuff that I want to see. But as far as uh, as far as the fighters doing, I really can't blame them for implementing a game plan that they feel like is going to give them the victory. And at the end of the day, as a fighter, that's what you're pushing for. I know a lot of these folks that are that are knocking those those kind of game plans in the in the in the wrestling. That a lot of those folks, if their if their paycheck was on the line, if their status as a fighter was on the line, they would they would do a lot of the same thing. Especially if your base and your core is wrestling. If you've been wrestling all your life and you can use wrestling to to win your match, then you're gonna go in and and you're gonna wrestle. So that you know it, it makes sense why people don't like to see it. And personally, you know, I, I'll admit that I, I wouldn't pay to see. Uh, a wrestler fight and, and grind out a decision, but in no way would I would I knock these guys for doing what they're doing. Now let me tell you what I do have a problem with. I you know I know I know a lot of you saw the Miguel Torres Demetrius Johnson fight. I have a problem with getting takedowns and then not doing anything with them. You get the takedown and you get b dominated from the bottom from by the other guy. When Demetrius Johnson would get the takedown. Miguel Torres would, would, would dominate him, and, uh, you know, Demetrius Johnson, I still feel like Demetrius Johnson did win that fight, you know, barely, because he did have the stand-up advantage, and he, you know, according to scoring, he got the takedowns, and it, I mean, maybe it's something with the scoring system that, that should change, or, uh, you know, these guys, I, I'm just not a fan of getting the takedown and not doing anything. Now, if you get the takedown, and you do ground and pound, and, you, and you're working from that top position, that's fine with me, but getting the takedown and just you know not not just laying on them, but but getting dominated from the bottom by the other guy. That's I don't like that. But enough about that. Let's get into into Junior Dos Santos versus Shane Carwin. Shane Carwin 2.0. And you know I say this before you. Know, of course, it's not my sense. It's what, it's what Shane Carwin said, uh, or or people interviewing Shane Carwin said. Uh, Shane Carwin coming off of back and neck surgery. And of course, Brock Lesnar out with a diverticulitis. That's why Shane Carwin stepped in. And Shane Carwin also dropping 25 pounds, implementing his new organic diet. And I really think that's going to do wonders for, for Shane Carwin, particularly his, his cardio. And Shane Carwin has always, you know, people, how, it's, it's funny how fast people forget Shane Carwin before losing to Brock Lesnar was an animal. He was knocking out guys left and right you know not not like scrub dudes he was knocking out he was knocking out some big time dudes and i just i just feel like shane carwin still has that knockout power his boxing is gonna he's gonna come back his boxing boxing is still gonna be good even with his size he always had the the great movement with with his feet and he's just gonna be even faster now and he's gonna keep that that same power i feel like he's gonna keep that same power even though he's dropped the weight now junior dos santos you know, of course, he hasn't he hasn't suffered that big loss, and he he beat down uh, Roy Nelson and and Mirko Krokop, and he's he's had some real good victories in in pretty in pretty uh, 
you know, decent fashion. And Junior Dos Santos is known for his hands. He's a great, he's a great boxer. That's really what's, uh, you know, with solid power, that's really what's gotten him as far as it's gotten him. But I just feel like Shane Carwin and his power and his, his newfound uh his newfound body weight and i feel you know, i feel like he's gonna come in and he's gonna i don't think junior dos santos has has encountered power like shane carwin's power and i think it, it'll be a little bit a little bit too much for junior dos santos i have shane carwin winning this fight by second round knockout what are your picks for this fight not just the main event but you know all the all the other fights in this card Make sure to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, download the podcast. We are on iTunes now. Also, if you leave a comment in the form of a question in the comment box or on Twitter, you could be a part of the next comment response video. This is IB Sports. I'm BJ Griffin, signing off.